Now it's not really season yet, you know. You know, uh, July, uh, maybe half June and July begin, yeah? July, August, and then September dies out, and then dead. <laughs> you know, yeah, December, January, February, dead. Okay. <laughs> uh, March is uh, <coughs> half dead, uh, three quarters dead, a little bit awakened, a little bit, okay. And April, <laughs> May, okay, a little bit. <laughs> June, all right, yeah, I'm fully awake, and July, August is alive, yeah. So when I came, it was August, you know. <laughs> July, August is fully alive, so I thought, oh, it's a nice place. You know, small but lively, you know, it looks nice. People sit almost on the street, you know. You see all the, the restaurants. Yeah, so you're free to explore around, yeah, get to know your house, <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> okay, I still don't know yet how to handle this because this is a hotel, okay. So if we <laughs> register as a hotel, then we have to operate every day. And uh, I don't know what to do yet, so whatever, <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever, we legal, fine. I ask and they say, uh, below five days you can gather, it doesn't matter, you know, so we have a party, you know, a birthday party, you know. And if somebody asks if we have a birthday party, you know, who's? A Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? A birthday party, that's what it is. We're not telling lies ever, no? <laughs> do we? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's that, hey? Uh, f- for now, you okay, huh? <laughs> All right, never mind. We come and go, huh? Okay? You just come and go. It's sure, no? You don't stay, no? And nobody pays any money to the hotel. You don't. You pay for your food only, yeah? You put money together and cook and eat, okay? I don't take any. Truly, I don't. Anybody takes money? The money is for food only, for, for them only, yeah? For them. Hotel already paid for. No need. Tax, uh, electricity, I pay. Yeah. You pay for your food, yeah? yeah? It's good enough, yeah. I don't want to pay everything, because then you'll be like a baby, you know? You're not babies, no? You must learn also to be uh, a dignified uh, grown-up, you know? Take care of yourself, no? Yeah. yeah. Just uh, buy your own food, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I also wish I could buy it for you, but I have so many expenses. And you must pay for yourself. A little bit, no? Yeah. We have to be honest, no? Yeah. Yesterday, I went on a train, and finally I got on a train. And I was so tired, and I didn't want to sit with everybody else, so I said, if you have a whole cabin free, I'll pay for it. Okay, he let me in, and so he just put one bed, uh, no, two beds downstairs, and the rest he put it up so nobody in, and he put it occupied. No? And uh, when he charged me, he charged me only one ticket and one bed. I said, no, I told you I pay the whole thing and I I will pay it. He said, no, never mind, it's empty anyway. I said, no, no, this is different when it's empty or when I take it, yeah? That means nobody can come in. So I I pay the whole thing, you know. But he didn't want to, he charged me already for one person, one ticket. And uh, he said, oh, it's too much for you. I said, yeah, maybe, but I must pay what I must pay. And that's that, yeah? Because he liked me, he thought I'm very nice and all that, didn't want me to pay. So I say, I pay this to the company, not for you. You have no right. <laughs> yeah, you have no right to refuse. If you are very nice to me and you want to save my money, I appreciate that very much. But my duty is to pay. I must pay for what I take. And that is normal. 
Yeah, so I pay full price. He was very reluctant to take. He said, "It's too much, too much. You still have to go a long way. Do you still have money?" I said, "I have. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I don't dare to come out." But he said, "I worry you don't have enough money because you travel with airplane and you come all the way here and now you travel here. I don't know if you have more money to go further." I said, "I also have credit card. You know, normal, no." He said, how about you take this money so that you have enough money to go further and when you go home, you pay it to me, to him, you know? Send it to me. I said, how do you trust me? I'm just a passenger. He said, I do trust you. <laughs> I said, thank you, thank you. He really did like that. It's just a, a attendant in the, in the cabin, you know? Very nice. But he's in charge at night, you know? He's like a, a conductor at night, you know? So I, I said, no, no, I, I'm fine, I'm fine. I really am, but I must pay, I must pay. And then when he bought food, because I give him tip also, and I give for all the cabin, you know, pay everything, full price. Yeah, full price for the whole cabin. Uh, six bed, you know, six bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the like train cabin, six bed, can you believe that? But I pay the whole thing. It's a long drive, so it's very expensive, you know. One bed is about 60 euros, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a bed, <laughs> a small bed. Sick together in a small cabin, 60 euros. But because it's a long distance, you know, like 10 hours. So, okay, never mind, I pay everything. And then so because I pay a lot, when he brought me food, you know, like a little sandwich, he said, come eat something. And then I said, okay, but uh, how much is it? He said, no, no, don't pay. <laughs> 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 because I already give him tip also, you know. Don't pay. Later he bought drinks. Also, no, no pay. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, what else did he bring? Oh, some other drink. No pay, but I didn't have mood for drinking and eating, but he bought, so I just took one bite and I left it there. And I said, sandwich no good? I said, oh, well, you know, train sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> So he laughed, it's okay. You know, in England, it's famous, the railway tea, yeah? They're very lousy. Everybody says like that. <laughs> so I make a joke, I say, how about if I go on the train, I just order water and sugar and the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's supposed to be lousy, you know? And the way they, they put a lot of water in it or something like that, yeah. Anybody who doesn't understand, do you have somebody to translate for you or not? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Look now, listen later. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> you don't care, you're deaf, dumb and <laughs> blind. <laughs> yeah, you have only eyes, yeah? <laughs> you don't care about the rest, yeah? <laughs> A smelly room. <laughs> and uh, you, no translation, don't care. After you come out, please open all the windows, okay? Let it be fresh for a while. Because uh, many people, you know, somehow the, the process of oxygen, nitrogen, it just <laughs> <laughs> very confusing. <laughs> I don't mean you're dirty. I don't mean that. <laughs> Even if you bath every five seconds and you go sit together, it still smells. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How come? What kind of karma? Huh? <laughs> But never mind, huh? You're happy. Yeah, so if you're happy. But the thing is, when I first came here, I fell in love with the region, you know, because of the sea, it was nice, and people sat on the street and very happy, you know. So I thought, oh, this is a nice place for you guys to come and enjoy, not just meditate all the time, but you could also walk around and have a pizza if you like to, you know. If the food is lousy, I don't blame you, because <laughs> when they meditate, they put too much salt, they don't even know. Huh? Maybe too much salt, too much sugar. But if you like to like, like enjoy also a little holiday, then it's fine, you know? Yeah. You deduct your food money later. You bring a pizza home and you say, look, <laughs> here, today I don't eat here, okay? So give back the <laughs> 50 cents or something. <laughs> deduct the money. Or stay a few hours longer to eat your money. <laughs> you just... You know, pull money together to go shopping, eating, transportation, and decoration, clean up. There are all these expenses, yeah? The rest I pay, okay? We pay. I pay the hotel. I pay the tax. I pay electricity, everything else. So you just come and put food together and eat. That's it. Otherwise, if you don't want to pay money, you bring your own sandwiches, man. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> That's 
also okay. It's free, okay? If you don't want to pay the kitchen, <laughs> you take your own box, yeah? Every day you take out one sandwich and eat it <laughs> to show them that you protest <laughs> the system of the kitchen. <laughs> I don't mind, okay? <laughs> yeah, anyway, we don't really come to eat, but if it's nice food, it's nice, yeah? Food is nice. Yeah, it's, they cook with love, I'm sure. Yeah. If someday they cook without love, then you put love in it. <laughs> I bring a bottle of love with you all the time. <laughs> Garnish the food. Huh? What else to do? Huh? Okay. I also have to put up with it. You know, every day at home also, when I eat some nice food from them, I say, wow, it's like winning lotto today. <laughs> Mostly it's not nice. You know, I have to cook for them. <laughs> if I want something nice, I cook for myself and for them together and we eat. Yeah. Otherwise, if I sometimes have some nice food from them, then it's considered like a lucky day. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always have to consider like that. Okay, there are always a lucky day and unlucky day. <laughs> the Chinese people believe it. And the Europeans also believe that Friday 13 is a no no to go anywhere. Huh? But I'm not sure I travel anywhere. I don't even know what day is good or not because I cannot control it. I just go, huh? I just go. Maybe yesterday was an unlucky day. <laughs> yeah. How come? Friday. Huh? Yesterday, Friday? Yeah, but it's 25. It's <laughs> 25th, it's not 13. So it's, it's, it's no good, is it? It wasn't 13, my God. No taxi. No airplane, no two taxis, no. And no two airplanes. And airplane kaput two, three times. <laughs> Before waiting long hours and then kaput again in the air. <laughs> I told you. I just told you today. You didn't hear? And okay, fine. And we go we return, fine. Return, cannot come down. <laughs> airport, so. <laughs> the whole airport. Close. Suddenly, weather changed so bad, they closed the whole airport. Can't even come down. Last minute. Okay, turn around, go find some other airport. Cannot come down also because too many airplanes already go. <laughs> no free runway. You know, no free land. Oh, yeah. You have to have land to land. Yeah. And you have to have the operator free enough to tell you, okay, you know, 25 degrees, each go down and slowly stand by, whatever, you know. And some people waving the light or something like that, you know. There's a system. You can't just uh, park anywhere. <laughs> it's not a car. <laughs> even the car, you must park where it's designated. You know that. You can't even park anywhere, let alone a big airplane, you know? And the runway is limited, even. You must uh, come down at a certain hour, so people expect you and tell you from long distance already. Now you begin to cool down the engine, slow down the speed, and blah, 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 blah. You get prepared for landing. You know, and then some people have to stay there waving the light or something like that. All kinds of things, yeah. And people bring the car, bring the bus to bring the passenger, bring the luggage, everything. That is if you have a free, free land. But yesterday, emergency. Wow, I thought we'd stay in the air forever. <laughs> stay in heaven forever. <laughs> I told you the joke, yeah. <laughs> I told you the joke, yeah. Yeah, and then you stay here on earth forever. I stay in heaven forever. <laughs> what to do? I, I'm helpless. I'm in, the, I'm in the airplane. All tucked in, you know? Trapped. Can't even move. Can't even stand up. Can't even open. Because they don't let you at that time. Everybody has to stay put like this, you know? <laughs> and everybody's praying. <laughs> <laughs> The lady next to me, she was. <laughs> her feet just stabbing on the ground. I see her toe coming like this. <laughs> and I was thinking of the joke, you know? The joke that uh, if all the. Because the first engine kaput, then, you know, that joke. The first engine kaput, the, well, the captain said we have to be delayed for one hour because one, one engine kaput. Some uh, some airplanes have two engines, some have only one, but that's just, just a sport one. Normally two engines, three, four, four engines. So if one kaput, you know, the other can still go. So you say one engine kaput, delay one hour. And another engine kaput, delay another hour. Another engine kaput, another three hours. 
And the, the old woman, you know, the country woman who will never go on an airplane, said, my God, if the last engine kaput, we will stay up here forever. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yesterday in that situation, I was thinking of that joke and I laughed. <laughs> and people sitting next to me, <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Is it funny? <laughs> I said, sorry, no, not really. <laughs> no, not funny at all. You, you continue praying. <laughs> And then later I laugh again. <laughs> I can't help it. Give me some <laughs> napkins. Yeah. You know, because I remember another joke. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, they were circle a long time. I have a lot of time to laugh. <laughs> what else I do? <laughs> if I cry, would it help? <laughs> but it was really scary. You feel very controlled, you know, very restricted because there's nothing you can do in that situation. Yeah? They just just like you are in the prison, you know, and you can't even uh, feel the, the floor, you know, because it's in the air and nobody is there to help you. Nobody can. And that airplane is only equipped for so many hours, you know. Normally it flies one hour only, and maybe maximum they, they put another half an hour extra or one hour extra, but it's not forever. The, the, the petrol, the fuel won't last forever. If they cannot come down, that it happened before. One aeroplane could not come down and they had no fuel. They just died, just crashed and died. It has happened many times. Different situations, you know? So, of course, the people are very panicked and I laugh and it's very sinful. <laughs> but I just remember so many jokes about aeroplanes. <laughs> trời lộng một đời thong dong một đời thong dong